come up from the gate after weaving in and out of the trees over there. I was over there at one point. Um, I've just seen two people where I, probably where I was. I, I could have been on an even lower path actually than they are. I've just seen two people. Oh, they've gone behind the bush now, over on that path. I think I might have been on that one, or a lower one. Yeah, look. I've done all of them over there anyway. But anyway, I'm going up to the gate, tiptoed across the field, because guess what? They do have cows here. Most of the time, these cows, they don't ever go near people. I did see them get frisky once, actually. Someone had disturbed them when they were resting in a wood on the other side. But there are a lot of them there. And they're all black and they're all in that copse there. But they haven't even looked over at me. And I'm near the gate now. I did brisk walking just to get past. And uh, yeah, I just did some brisk walking. Those people that were over there, they could end up here yet. You know what I mean? All they've got to do is come down that track. That might be their plan, their little route, you see. I said that when I get to this gate, I'm going to have my banana and a bar of chocolate and a drink. Because this is this little bit is steep. It's a steady climb up to the hill fort. I'm doing it the other, opposite direction. And of course, if I look back here, look over there. That's the area of outstanding natural beauty, that naked part where they harvest the bracken these days. That's another way I walk, and I've done several walks over there this year on different routes I've been doing. I haven't done a lot of the Warren, and today I just did a couple more diversions. Rather than go on my usual paths right up the top through the middle and down, I thought I'd just try and refresh my memory of some of the other routes that I do and haven't done for a while. Um, yeah, you can. I can always come over here and do more, but like I say, to get here, for me, sometimes I have to walk right over those hills to get here, or right over other hills, the other side. If you've got a car, you can drive very close. But I never used to with Alberta. Um, apart from I did used to park at the pub at Churchill, which saved me a bit of time, I must admit. And not only that, there was no panic. I could stay out as long as I wanted. Alberta would always be there waiting. Right, I'm just going to stop here now. Here's the view. Let's put Alberta... Alberta, put the camera there. This is Sheila on the 22nd of September 2021. I've just done a massive hike, and there's still a massive hike because so I'll be going back through the valley over to Cheddar, so it's still a big hike. So, little break. Little break, banana. Unzip a banana. It's biodegradable skin. Beautiful scenery behind me. Look. Beautiful. Next, I'm having a twirl. This is the Cadbury's twirl with orange flavour. 
All right, over and out for a minute. Right folks, leaving this lovely big Robert Warren for a minute. After I've done the fort, I'll be going back down the valley, up following the stream and round the back towards Tynan Farm. I won't be going up in the air of outstanding beauty today. So this is the edge of the, this is all part of the hill fort, what I'm walking on now. But the main pit is following the processional route in a minute, as we emerge from these woods. We'll see the two, the bosom of the fort, I call it. Two humpy bumps. I'm not staying there long. I'm just going to walk up there, take some photos, and then head for the secret pathway. I don't know how secret it is now, but it used to be. Now, because all the cows are up there, unless they've got a split herd, which can happen, you can have a split herd, um... I might not meet anymore now, but the cows, they might not even be able to get here, but I don't know if there's a gate that way, not sure, but there's loads more to explore here that I've not explored, various little play walks and wanders, just finding the time to do it all really, sometimes you feel easy just doing something you know, but I do actually quite often branch off and um, what's that over there I can see I do quite often branch off oh it's a bit of wood and go down a another little path it might only be for five minutes and I join up with the big one again but it's all trying to build this network in the mind it would be fun at night wouldn't it <laughs> you'd be able to do it with a compass eh? I've done night marches as long as you plot properly, you have, to, you have to plan it and plot it so that your compass bearings are exact. And I have done that before now. I have done it. I'm a bit disappointed the weather's gone dull. The start was beautiful. They said it was going to be sunny all day today. You wait, tomorrow will be one of those bright sunny days, won't it? I class this one as sort of not massive, not like the Quantock one, but it's uh, still quite a hike. It's still quite big, this one, because I've still got to get all the way back yet. That's where we look at the time now. We look at the time. We're doing very well. It's just gone... 12.53 so we've we're doing well because I said we need to be on top of the fort by 2 well we'll be on it definitely but just after 1 o'clock it's only up there I also said if we were if we reach the fort by 3 there's no way you go back to Cheddar there isn't time okay um, there's not the time to go back to Cheddar once you, if you're on there at three, you need to start going down towards Sanford to get your bus. Okay. Or you could wander down, back down the uh, Winscombe wet route over this way. You could still do it from this end, but not go to Cheddar. Whereas today, the plan is... I can still change route, mind, on the way down through the valley and the stream. I can still change my mind if I feel I won't have time. Um, I'm planning on this, trying to get the six o'clock. I'm trying not to rush and panic and let the walk be dictated. That's why I'm very much more relaxed, usually in the morning parts, where I'm definitely not even thinking about the way back yet. You know... I'm, like I said, I'm disappointed it's gone grey. The photos are so brilliant. I went for a walk on Sand Bay the other day and all my photos and videos were absolutely gorgeous. It really enhanced the, the, the features, you know, the landscape when the sky is blue. It just makes it look so pretty. It really does. 
and it also had those great big puffy clouds and and they really do bring the landscape out as well not this gray stuff no this has a flattening effect right so we go through this gate so that unless there's two herds of cows it's not usually means we won't meet any going up to the hill for it over and out folks right just zooming into that yellow bar thing which I passed earlier having come out there's the coombe over there and that, that coombe over there I walked through came round to there to that yellow bar weaved in and out and then I came back down through that coombe there see it sort of dark, weave through there and then along a lower track that's what I've done today so that very dark piney bit there I walk down through that quite often I'm walking all the way in and out of the hill fort I did a bit more of a skirt today and just tried out some tracks I hadn't done for a long time long time And after I leave the hill fort and go down the secret steps, I'll be going down through that coombe there, following the stream. Then over skirting, again, the other side of this hill fort, to Tynings Farm and Stables. What I, what I, the decision I will make is when I get to the end of the spring, the stream, that will make me decide whether to go to Cheddar or take a similar route back to Winscombe. It will all depend on how I feel as well. Got to feel right to do it, you know. Crook's Peak right in the distance, reference point. Let's zoom in. There's Crook's Peak that been up that a couple of times this year and then not long ago I haven't put it on yet but um, called the Lock-in and Hutton walks that I did in Windmill Hill that's Windmill Hill I was very close to that aerial I've walked in those woods been on top of that big hill there I've been on top of that um, and I haven't I haven't finished those they haven't been shared yet those particular walks the locking walks because um, I've been trying to get the big Quantock ones on and there was Velvet Bottom I done that was a big one this is uh, one I'll want to put on I've mainly caught up but I have got family tree work to do so there will be coming a time where I will be having quite a big break from the videos uh, I've done it before. I can be off for several months. Maybe putting the odd one on. Because I'm paying a big subscription. I need to get my benefit of it for Family Tree, you see. So, and I've got piles and piles of stuff to do. Because there's all the DNA stuff. Um, I've got loads of that to do with people contacting me. Um, I've got... What else have I got? Somebody coming up behind. It looks like that bloke I met right over by that yellow pole. Looks like he's only just arrived here. It could be that he found that small track and has ended up having to... Might not be in mine, but it's just a hunch I've got. So we're coming, this is the procession that leads up to the hill fort. <clears throat> I want to try and get up there before that person behind arrives, otherwise you can't really video or do photos. 
Um, I was very lucky the last time I came here, no one was about. And of course you might say, well, would you want to keep taking photos of? You've got loads of them. It's a different time. It's a different time. Weather's different. It's a different season. So here, I just imagine those Iron Age people walking along here. Just checking back. Of course, if we go over a bit, we can see Western from here. We'll see Western Hill Fort. Roborough is a big hill fort. And it's naked. But there, it does retain woods. It has got woods. It's not totally naked. I always like this bit here. Because when you're here, on this particular hump, look, I zoom through the bosom of the hill fort and look what we've got. Seat home. All the way through. Through the bosom of the hill fort. It's a good view that, isn't it? I'm going to take a picture of it now. Over and out. <laughs>